The Kamov Ka-22 took to the skies during the outset of the Cold War, a period distinguished by great objectives and persistent technological progress. It symbolizes an unprecedented endeavor to blend the flexibility of helicopters with the speed of fixed-wing aircraft, shrouded in secrecy and overflowing with creative ideas. This flying giant, the world's first tilt-rotor aircraft, arose from the unfathomable depths of the Cold War, and its tail weaves together the threads of invention, dedication, and devastating sorrow. In the world of rotary-winged aircraft, Kamov is connected with audacity and creativity. The Kamov Bureau, founded in the early post-war years and led by the famed designer Nikolai Ilyich Kamov, was known for its unusual approach to aircraft design. In the late 1950s, the agency was charged with creating a heavy lift transport helicopter. They answered with the Kamov K-22, an aircraft that was everything from average. The Kamov K-22 design was stunning, combining the unusual with the spectacular. It is 37.6 meters in length and 9.75 meters in height. Many of its contemporaries were dwarfed by the K-22, the pair of large rotor assemblies positioned on short wings on either side of the fuselage were its most conspicuous feature. It was powered by a pair of Solovia D25, VK turboshaft engines, each capable of delivering 5,750 horsepower. These engines propelled a pair of four-bladed rotors, each measuring 20 meters in diameter and situated on the extremities of the wings. The wings themselves were rather small, having a span of about 14.5 meters and had two bladed propellers at their tips, which gave additional lift and forward drive. The K-22 was notable for more than just its raw power and unique design. Its inside was just as magnificent. The K-22 could transport up to 82 people, which was exceptional for a rotorcraft at the time or up to 16,000 kilograms of cargo. To assist loading and unloading, the whole nose of the aircraft could be opened and a built-in winch mechanism could raise goods straight into the cargo hold. The maiden flight of the K-22 took place on August 15, 1959, with experienced test pilot Dim Janovich Konstantin Apolonovich at the controls. This flight was the first successful demonstration of a tilt-rotor aircraft which drew the attention of aviation specialists all over the world. The K-22's first flights, however, were not without incident. As with any experimental aircraft, the K-22 encountered a number of teething issues. These range from trivial issues like synchronizing the rotor tilt to more major concerns like engine overheating. Despite these obstacles, the K-22 broke a number of world records for speed and altitude in 1961. It reached a high speed of 375 km per hour and a height of 7,150 meters, securing its place in aviation history. The K-22's triumphs, however, were quickly eclipsed by tragedy. On the 2nd of November 1964, a K-22 crashed during a demonstration flight, killing all seven crew members on board. The inquiry showed a catastrophic breakdown in the rotor control system, forcing all remaining K-22 aircraft to be grounded. Following this accident, the K-22's future was in jeopardy. As the Soviet leadership became more skeptical of the tilt-rotor concept, it began to shift its attention to more traditional designs. The K-22 era appears to be coming to an end. Nonetheless, despite delays and the project's final termination in the late 1960s, the K-22 remains a symbol of the bravery and innovation that marked the early Cold War years. Throughout the history of aviation, the Kamovka 22 distinguishes out not just for its revolutionary design and amazing capabilities, but also for those who dared to dream large. It reminds us that the path to advancement is sometimes laden with difficulties, and that failures, no matter how terrible, are frequently used to pave the way for future accomplishments. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, consider subscribing. You may also find more aircraft videos on my channel.